So if you test out the mechanism we made in the last video, uh, it's going to give you an error if you go to the generic page. And the reason is the table is empty. There's no blogs inside it to find. Uh, so we're going to fix that in this video. Uh, we should know that we have to create a create view. So it doesn't matter where you put it. It's just going to be a create view. Action result. Create. We start off simple and it returns a view and then we create a view add view so this time however notice we're not gonna keep the template empty we're gonna drop down and we're gonna do a create the model class will be blog and the data context class is the application db context um, that's that's all we need so we could have done it manually but we're actually gonna change it anyways okay so what I'm gonna do is from HTML to begin form I'm gonna delete all this okay all we want is using HTML dot begin form so the reason I did this is we're gonna customize it uh, to our needs so first thing we have the model defined we could have done that ourselves and we have uh, using HTML dot begin form so this is this okay HTML HTML helper so this is what they call HTML helpers uh, this basically helps with the back end through HTML so the action is called create it's in the blog controller that's all we need to know then inside here we're going to create a div class equals form group and we're going to close it now inside this we need to have some way to input uh, data for the title for the author and the content so what we're going to do is use HTML helpers so HTML dot label for dot label for notice we're using label for and not label um, so this expects a blog or something to do with a blog so um, I phrased that wrong so it, it expects um, basically a value out of the blog model it doesn't actually expect a blog from the table uh, the blog I'm talking about I mean this it expects something from these values and it expects us to be using this class so we could go ahead and create a new blog, but that's useless. We're actually going to use a Lambda expression. So you can call it anything. I'm going to call it M. This is completely arbitrary. Call it anything. And you're going to do this. You know, equals and greater than sign. Then you're going to do M dot title. That's it. This is going to create... This is the same as doing input type equals text actually no it's not the same but it's it's just like labeling an input um, and then now we're gonna do the input so we're gonna do HTML the text box for text text box for same thing model model dot title okay so this is the same as doing input um, however after title we're gonna do a comma and we're gonna do new and this just HTML uh, and CSS. You don't need to do this, uh, but you can if you want it to look good. So form control. Then we're gonna copy this, paste it twice. Okay, and we just change this to author, author. And then here we're gonna do this as content, content. And instead of text box four for the last one, we're gonna use a text area four. So all we we'll do, all we're doing here is creating a form. So this this part this is actually just like doing a form action equals, and then specifying a file. Instead, just it knows it's the create method in the blog. And after div before the the closing bracket, I'm gonna do a button. 
button type equals submit class equals btn btn primary and we're going to do submit so this this automatically knows that it's supposed to submit the form um however this this won't do anything right now actually um it, this will just direct you to the create method and the create method just directs it to the view and if we go to the view it just directs you to the create method and the create method directs you to the view so actually what we do is we're gonna define the action again action result create and instead of returning view firstly on the line above the definition of the second action we're gonna use square brackets HTTP post so if you know HTML it's the same as doing um, form action equals script dot something and then um, method equals post so no instead here we just define the action and here we tell it that it's a post so you're gonna say how come we have to create views so this just returns the view this takes you here however this one it's gonna detect that it needs the it means this one so this create it's actually referencing this method um, and we're gonna write this method in the next tutorial